Hee-ha, ha-ha, hee-ha. <laughs> You're gonna hear my voice, but something is different. This is the new app from Audio Care. <laughs> Called Audio Tune. <laughs> Cool. Hey guys, what's happening? It's JP here. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you want to learn all about music tech and looping, then start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. So Audio Kit and Coda Labs have done it again. They've brought out a brand new app, which is a limited edition app. And this time it's really different. Audio Tune is a brand new pitch correction app from Audio Kit and Coda Labs from the likes of which has never been seen before. It has an algorithm that's never been seen on iOS before. Now it's not just limited to vocals, you can have instruments as well. But for this example, I've got the Stealth Mic plugged into the Focusrite, which goes into the iPad. If you haven't seen the video about the Stealth Mic, I'm gonna put a post for it right here. It is an awesome microphone and it has multiple voices. I won't go too deep into it, go watch the video. But this app is really simple. We've got it up on the iPad here and as I'm talking, I can hear myself being auto-corrected, which sounds a bit weird in my ears, and uh, you're listening to me right now from the microphone going into the camera, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to the microphone that's here in a moment, so we don't get two microphones going at the same time. Now when you think of auto-tune or tuning uh, with a machine, most people think of things like uh, T-Pain or Share, and that's the real extreme versions of using auto-tune. So audio-tune is really different where it can actually detect the pitch of your voice or the pitch of your instrument, and it can detect that really quickly, but then also you can dictate the pitch, the amount, and the speed at which it tunes you in. There's some really nice additions into this. So for example, you can record yourself, uh, so you can record your creation so you don't have to leave the app. You can use the keyboard and play the keyboard, so you can play your own voice, that's a bit weird, and you can also uh, change the pitch and change the key that it's in. So let's dive into it now and we'll show you the user interface. So in the top left hand corner we've got the three little dots here, if I tap that it just gives you some information. The pitch tuning is in A at 440 hertz and then you can show it's a limited edition app which is cool. Uh, it's number three out of ten, I can't wait to see the other seven, what they're bringing out into the future. And you've got a tutorial there, support and more apps. And then what we've got is we've got record and file. So if we hit record, it literally just starts recording right now. And then if I tap it again, it stops. As it stops, it then brings up the share sheet and then you can save that to wherever you want. If you tap on file, it brings up the file management system for the iPad or the iPhone in iOS 12, 13, and then will be in 14. So right in the middle of the page, we've got five little elements that I'm gonna go through right now. So on the left-hand side here, we've got the key. So we can change which key it's in. So let's put it into G, for example. We've got this scale, so we can move this over to major scale. And as I do that, you you can see that some of the keys at the bottom have been taken away and the reason for that obviously is to keep it in that key. I can put it into whole tone, I can put it into um, octave whole tone or half tone, uh, I can put it into chromatic or I can even custom it and I can say which keys I want depending on which ones we've selected. So I'm gonna leave it in chromatic at the moment. And right in the middle here, this is the main thing, you can see the correction amount. So as I'm talking, of course, there's a lot of different variances as opposed to holding a note. And you can see that. So I'm gonna sweep up from one note to another. more than an octave there, but you can see the note that it's actually detecting. It's doing it really quickly, and it lights it up on the keyboard at the bottom as well. It shows you the amount of correction that it's doing, and then that leads us nicely onto the right-hand side. So we have amount, and I can turn that all the way down, and it's basically just my voice now. And I can turn this up and go all the way to there. <laughs> and turn it back down again. And then you've got the speed. Now the speed is how quickly it goes from one note to another. This is where it gets really interesting. So if I put the amount up to m full and put the speed down, uh, it'll start making some really, really unique decisions. And you can start messing around with the amount and the speed, and we can start playing around with it. Uh, 
When you add that into the scale, then you can get some really, really nice sounds. So we've got whole tone here, and you can see C sharp, D sharp, G, F, A, and B, because we're in G. If I move that over to C, it will change it over, so it's C, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp. Now, the last little bit about the actual app itself is the bottom bit, and we've got the scale here, and we've got here scale edit. So if you actually tap on that, you can tap the keys to add or remove notes from the scale. So we're in whole tone right now. Let's just go to, say, major blues. Let's just major blues. I've got it turned down at the moment, so let's turn it all the way up. And I can add stuff in and take stuff out. As I do that and take stuff out, you can see that it just switched over to custom, and we've got a custom key. So if you're a vocalist and you want to go live, you could just use this to have a little bit of auto-tune just thrown in uh, on a cr maybe chromatic, so you just want to be a little bit in tune. The other thing you can do is you can use this as a plugin. So it's an AUV3 plugin, which you can use with your favorite door like GarageBand or Cubasis, but you can also use it to control it via MIDI. Now this is where it gets really interesting. So if you've got a MIDI controller, you can actually play and you can play chords or you could play a note and you could play your voice, which as you sing you could get a really really cool sound out of it and you could manipulate that really really quickly the other side of this as well is it doesn't have to be your voice it can be an instrument so let's just say you're playing a synth and you want to control it but with a little bit of voice automation and maybe it's a sweeping synth but you want to control it a little bit more you could do that and we can just tap out different notes so then uh, 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 So if I put the speed up really quickly, it's going to shift to that note really, really quickly. I put the amount up, it's going to be the full corrected amount as opposed to the amount of my voice. If I turn the amount down, it's just me without the app. But the app is still working in the background, so you could just dial the amount up as you want really really subtly or you could full-blown share t-pain it if you want to and as you have it fully corrected so to give you an insight of how clever this app is i just want to show you a couple of things in the background so it can actually register monophonic signals from 60 hertz right up to 700 hertz it's predominantly for voice but you can use it for any instrument and it'll work on both male and female voices i've shown before you can correct the amount and also the speed and with the different tuning scales there's up to 144 different scales that you can tune into. So the other thing as well with it being an AUV3 plugin is you can actually run this in your door, but you could run multiple versions of it as long as your device is powerful enough to run that. So for example, imagine you have the auto-tune set to about half of the main vocal, but you could have it dialed all the way up uh, for harmonies, and you could even have it for a saxophone, you could have it for a synthesizer as well. The possibilities are limitless. Now, Audio Kit are doing something really, really different with apps, and what they're doing is they're doing limited edition apps. So there are a couple of apps out there, like the Base 808, that's already sold out. Think of it like vinyl or limited edition sneakers. So you've only got a certain amount of time to grab this app, and then it's gone. They're just trialing this as an idea. This is the third app out of 10 that they're looking to be limited edition, and this is available until the end of July. So this is why I want to get this video out now, at the beginning of July, so you've got enough time to go and grab it. Now, because of the way the algorithm is written people have reviewed this app already and they're saying it's actually better than their other auto tune app that they may have spent hundreds of pounds on basically going to cost you only a couple of it's going to cost you less than a coffee now i could throw this app into something else so for example if i was going to throw it into GarageBand, or i could even throw it into a chain like aum and then bring in a looper so if you wanted to auto tune to get really perfect harmonies for loops you could do that with this app really really easily by setting the scale then you know that you can be confident Confident that it's going to be the exact auto tune that you want or you can completely make something weird the idea behind this is that you can start experimenting with your own voice and create really really unique things so I really like this it's really simple there's not a lot for me to actually explain and go through other than you can plug in a mic you don't have to plug in a mic as well all you need is a pair of headphones it can use the mic from your iPhone or iPad as well so this app is limited edition number three out of ten from audio kit and I've grabbed the previous two as well and I've created a series or playlist which you can see right now if you want to go through back and look at the others. If you have found the content of this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me and helps the channel grow. And if you want to take it a little bit further, you can support me by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Thank you very much for watching. and We'll see you on the next one.